remove the left side cover pull the seat release cable and lift the seat and keep it away next take down the seat cover pull the right side cover grip and leave as it is this is the fuel sensor cable just unplug it come to the fuel pipe use a screw driver to remove it easily remove the spark plug this will ease your effort while you are turning the camshaft in forward direction this gap must be removed in order to check the tdc line later i will show you how to find the tdc line finally it's time to remove the gas tank from your bike there will be a excess gas drain hose attached beneath the tank pull it and lift the tank from your bike now this is how my bike is looking after i took off all the parts that is required to be removed remove the hose air breather loosen all the 4 mm bolts at right side this is ht coil is preventing the wrench to reach the screw that's why we should remove it the wrench is easily reachable to bolt keep the bolt safely at aside lift the engine head cover and keep it in an enclosed cover to avoid dust entering into it now use allen key to turn the camshaft in forward direction the shaft has t mark at the top and grooves at both sides it should be always turned in forward direction never ever turn it in backward direction you will have to apply more pressure to turn the shaft because the air compression will make it difficult to turn it observe the t mark it should come at top position and 90 degrees to the engine chassis you can see it's a top dead center moving to the other side to check the tdc line from this indication hole the line must be aligned with arrow mark exactly this indicates that the both valves are ready to be checked for the tappet clearances for the inlet valve i'm using 0.038 mm from the filler gauge insert the filler gauge between the tappet and the valve and check if it is sliding with any resistance now take maximum reading that is 0.05 mm and check if there is any resistance or too much freely moving coming to the outlet valve i am using 0.076 mm gauge insert and check As you can see the gauge is not sliding freely and there is too much of resistance. Inaccurate gap leads to damage of valves and hard to start the bike due to no proper combustion process. Use 9 mm wrench and loosen the nut but don't remove it. the 
filler gauge and put it between the gap. Now slowly turn the tappet and fill the gap. The gap should feel like pulling out a paper from the book. There should be a very little resistance when sliding the filler gauge as well the gauge should move without stopping. This method takes more trial and error process. You should have patience and do it very accurately. If the gap is too much then the tappet heads will damage and compression timing will differ which will lead to failure of engine. A tappet tool will be available in market you can buy them. I will put the link in description. The filler gauge unboxing video is available in my channel and its link to buy is there in description. Once you get the correct gap, holding the tappet tight, tighten the lock nut and check again if the feel is accurate. Now coming to the inlet valve, loosen the nut and repeat the process, same as you watch it for the outlet valve. Remember the reading for inlet valve will be lesser than the outlet valve. Outlet valve will always have more gap because the combusted gases will have to move out. Inlet valves will have smaller clearances. For this bike, the inlet valve tappet clearance is between 0.03 mm to 0.05 mm and that outlet valve clearance will have a gap of 0.05 mm to 0.08 mm as per the Bajaj service center chart for Discover 125 BS4 bike.
let me show you the sound after the tappet clearances setting. <laughs> 